Hey Aquarius, welcome to your love reading July 13th to the 21st for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing really good. For any of my newbies, I always go through a meditative session that I do, then I get into the pre-shuffle, and then I go ahead and do your reading. So, interesting Aquarius, tapping into your energy. Um, you know, it's funny because you guys are quite the charmers. You guys do like to talk, and you guys like to flirt, um, men and women alike. And it's one of, it's one of the things that makes you guys so captivating and draws people to you, but you're really quiet right now. <laughs> you're really quiet. I felt a very kind of like suspenseful energy around you during this time. Um, almost, oh God, how do, how do I describe it? Um, like, you know, when something's about to happen or be said, that's like very pivotal. There's like that moment of stillness, that moment of silence, right? Where it's like, it's coming. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's kind of like that, making it very, very suspenseful. But it's something that you've been anticipating, like definitely something that you've known has been coming. Definitely something that you've been waiting to hear or get news about, get word about. And to be honest, guys, it almost feels a little bit like a court case scenario where you're kind of waiting for the verdict. I mean, that's going to be for like one or two of you, but that's that kind of energy that I'm feeling around you. And Aqua, you, like I said, you're very, very aware, but I feel like you're very kind of grounded right now, regardless whatever it is and it does feel big it does feel like a big pivotal moment or news for a lot of you um, and I know this is not gonna resonate for everybody but it's it's definitely something you've been anticipating and I feel like there are other people involved or at least other people who are aware about this going on for you um, but yeah involved no yeah for a lot of you other people are involved in this um, <clears throat> but you've been the very <sighs> rational one <laughs> Um, whatever this is, okay, yeah, this is very interesting. Yeah, whatever is about to be said or done or whatever news you're about to get word about, I think it is leading to resolution. It is leading to some kind of resolution, but everyone else involved hasn't been handling it as well as you have, Aqua, is also what I'm getting. Um, you've been the rational one. You've been the grounded one. You've been the one who has, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Sound thought or sound mind. You, you guys get what I'm trying to say. You guys get what I'm trying to say. But whatever it is, Aqua, it's about to be over and resolution is coming. However, I think you already know that not everyone's going to be happy about however this is going to get resolved. So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. So the first card that came out was the star, which made me so happy for an Aqua reading. And I do feel like this is really representing your energy. You know, you guys always pretty much shine bright. And it's funny because who was I talking to? I think I was talking to Jason um, <clears throat> about this. Um, after doing this for so long, I've, it's so funny when I tap into a zodiac sign because I feel it in different chakra areas depending on the sign. And so Aqua for you, I always feel it in the crown and the sacral. Always feel it, feel you guys there. And I do feel like you guys are very much in your power and you are vibrating higher than most people involved in this situation. And I gotta be honest, Aqua, I do feel a little bit of like on looking in judgment, in judgment or like, um, well, it's more analysis. I'll say it like that. It's more like analysis. You're looking at everyone involved. You're looking at the big picture. And you've already come to your consensus about the, the best way to approach the situation. But you're in the final stretch. Whatever news is coming out or whatever pivotal action is about to be taken, it's the final step. And so you're so ready. You're so ready for it. Then we have... The Ace of Pentacles with Judgment, which is fire energy. For me as a reader, it's also Scorpio because it represents Pluto, um, which is retrograding until October. Um, and then we have the Five of Wands Leo energy. So whatever this resolution is, let's let's take this away for a minute. Whatever this resolution is, it's it's coming across as this energy with Judgment and Ace of Pentacles. A lot of stability. A lot of stability and just a clean slate too is what I'm getting. A clean slate. Just, just close the book, close the chapter. We've got the resolution. We've got the news. We've got the pivotal action. Let's just move on to the next, right? Let's just keep things stable, kosher. Let's just get back to an equil equilibrium. And I think that's very much, um, ex I think that's exactly what is going to transpire after this conclusion takes place. But not everyone wants that, <laughs> clearly. And Aqua, I do feel like it's something that will benefit you. Whatever this is, it does feel like it's a benefit towards you. Now, this could be a payout you're waiting for or inheritance you're waiting for. It feels very court casey. You know, it's kind of hard to not, not feel it, not feel that way. But if this is like all family related, for some of you, it is definitely family related. It's almost like a family issue where many people have been involved and it's like it's just been ongoing and it's like finally you guys just sit down at the table and just are like, all right. We're not talking about this anymore. Let's get this resolved today, 
right? But with the five of wands, there is conflict here. And I do feel many, many energies. And I feel like, I'm feeling a lot of frustration too from these energies, Aqua. And I feel like it is kind of directed at you because I feel like whatever this conclusion is, it's benefiting you. It's benefiting other people too, but I feel like you're being very highlighted in this situation, okay? Whether you're whether you're you should be or not, you are being very <clears throat> excuse me, highlighted in the situation and other people involved are not really happy about it. You know, and some people honestly, guys, some people like drama. Some people like conflict, some people like to fight. Some people don't know how to live without that stuff, right? Some people really can't live without it. And Aqua, you can. <laughs> I, I've never met an Aqua who enjoys conflict and confrontation. Depends on the chart, but typically Aquas, you don't enjoy that because you know that there's it's a waste of time. You know it's a waste of time and a waste of energy. These people did not get that memo. All right, but you already know that if this is resonating with you. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get some water. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Now this is really interesting. So we had four other cards come out. Justice in reverse, Libra energy. Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, could also be Aries or Leo. Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. And then we have the Page of Swords in reverse. So let's take these two away for a minute. There's, spe there's a speaking of injustice, honestly, is what I'm getting. A speaking, a speaking of injustice, a very passionate kind of display of words and communication yeah, i'm like the more i'm into this this more more i'm feeling like a court case it almost feels like a closing argument to be honest with you that's like that's actually exactly how it's feeling like a closing argument about this individual whoever this individual is um and i do feel like this person is very good at spinning their words um uh, misconstrue i just heard the word misconstrue they're really good at misconstruing a situation via words you know like they know how to paint a picture thank you they know how to paint a picture, especially if it benefits them. Now, they're not really vibrating at a very high energy, this emperor, whoever this emperor is to you. It could be a father figure. It could be a boss. It could be a husband figure. Oh, why isn't it focusing? It's making me nuts that it doesn't totally want to focus. Anyway, you guys can you guys can see it. They're not vibrating high. They're vibrating at a very low frequency. And both of these energies combined, it's almost like... The communication style of a child in a man's body or woman, this could also be a female, doesn't have to be, um, but it is someone who likes, who it really enjoys feeling powerful, feeling superior, okay, feeling superior. Um, they kind of need that is what I'm getting. They kind of need that. But whatever this emperor did, it was an injustice and there is a speaking about it. Aqua, you could be blowing the whistle on this person. Or again, for I still keep getting court case. Or again, for some of you, this could be a closing argument, really highlighting the the wrongdoings of this emperor, regardless of what's already been you know occurred during the proceedings, the court proceedings. But there's a speaking about it. There's a speaking about it. Yeah, whatever this emperor did, it affected many people. Okay, it affected many people. This could be trying to call out a parental figure. This could be trying to call out a boss, or a spouse, or a partner. But that's definitely how it's feeling, Aqua. And you're just kind of sitting there in your energy and you're being very quiet, which is what, which it actually makes me feel inclined to say that you're not really talking about it, but you're at kind of at the center of it. You might have initiated this whole process and now you're like, all right, well, the wheels are in motion. Twiddle my thumbs and sit here and see how this plays out. But excuse me, whatever resolution comes, it's the right thing. It's the just thing. Okay even if it makes other people unhappy, all right? Okay, Aqua, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this. Um, oh, excuse me, for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. So guys, I am feeling a lot better today, but definitely, like, I'm gonna say 80%. I'm like at 80%. It was really hard for me to sleep last night, even though I was tired. Um, yeah, and I think, honestly, I was talking to Adriana about this. Um, I think because I anchored my energy there in New Orleans that, like, as the storm got stronger, it's almost like it was um, doing a number on my energy. So I think that was also part of it. Um, so I'm still really feeling it today. But anyway, guys, I'm doing good. I'm doing better. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 13th to the 21st. Any other messages for Aquarius? 
regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 13th to the 21st. You know, Aqua, I do feel like you're also shielding yourself. Because honestly, like it's, it was a little hard for me to tap into you. And I think you guys are doing a really good job at shielding yourself energetically. Probably because of this situation. Because you do have many people involved. Um, and you're probably just doing some self-preservation because of that. Um, but you guys are definitely have your force fields up right now. Your energy force fields up. Which is good. I actually really, I actually really like that because I know that's hard for people to figure out how to do. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 13th to the 21st. Okay. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 13th to the 21st. Ooh. All right, we've got two of wands, Aries energy. So... Needing to make a decision here, but I feel like there's a lot of waiting involved. And Aqua, it's like, it's that same energy of suspense. Oh, 11-11 as I said that. Um, it's the energy of suspense. I feel like you can't make a move until you get the news. I feel like you can't make a move until... Oh, why did that freak out? Hold on. Okay, these cards do not want to focus. There we go. That's a little bit better. It's almost like you can't make a choice, Aqua, until you get that final resolution, that final news, that final word, the final verdict. <laughs> um, but that's how it's feeling. You're not liking it either. You understand, it's like you understand that this is just the way things have to be, but you're, you're not really liking it. You're not really liking it. You're a little frustrated. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 13th to the 21st. Sun in reverse, Leo energy. So the happiness is here. It's not fully here though. And I'm also getting illumination with this, like waiting for full illumination. Whatever, yeah, Aqua, this is so interesting and so cryptic. Whatever this situation has been, been for you, there's been illumination, but there's still stuff left to be uncovered. And I feel like it's in that final message, that final news, that final action, final verdict. And once that happens, you'll get full illumination and then you can make the proper choice that you need to make for yourself. Yeah, it's almost like whatever's going on with you and this group of people, you got something else going, like that all that's over here and you got something else over there that you got to deal with. And you're like, all right, once this is done, then I can go out and deal with, with this. Interesting. Any other messages for Aquarius? Oh, hold on, we got a peeker. Come on now. Oh, I knew it was the Four of Cups. <laughs> Can't Syrian energy. <laughs> so again, here's you waiting. <laughs> Some more waiting energy. Usually this is a card of passive contemplation, but I'm just getting more and more waiting, waiting, waiting. And again, what did I say? You're not very happy about it. Look at you. You're not very happy about it. You're a little perturbed. You're a little frustrated, but you're like, I know things have to be this way. I know they have to be this way. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 13th to the 21st. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? So we just got one other card out here. Six of Swords in reverse Aquarian energy. I will have peace. That's what some of you are saying to yourself. I will have peace. And I will have what I want. I will have what I need. It's almost like you're, um, what's the word? How do I say that? You're doing positive self-talk. You know, it's like, and that's really healthy because I can feel, especially with the Six of Swords in reverse, it definitely has not been an easy road. It hasn't been an easy road. And I feel like because there's been other people involved and because you have been somewhat at the center of this or you, or you started this whole process. Yeah. I feel like for a lot of you, you triggered it and you've been kind of at the center of it. But now that it's coming to a bit of a close, now you're in wait mode. You're in wait mode, but it, it's really kind of, um, it's hitting you in the headspace. Okay. That's what I'm getting with this. It's hitting you in the headspace, which is why you're doing a lot of positive self-talk, which is great. I think that's a great way to cope with it. That's very healthy. Overall energy, we do have Ace of Wands. Oh, I love it. If it would focus. There we go. <laughs> Ace of Wands. This is you being passionate about your new start, passionate about your clean slate. And it does, they keep emphasizing that it's very much a clean slate situation. Whatever this is, you got to deal with with these people. 
it's something you're, I feel like it's something you're actually going to walk away from, to be honest. I feel like it's something you're going to deal with, get your res resolution, get your conclusion, and just leave it behind because it's something that has been preventing you from dealing with this thing over here, whatever this thing is over there for you. So you're very excited for this, which is why you're a little frustrated that you're still in wait mode on this situation. Okay. By the way, underneath that, we do have high priestess in reverse. So truth and clarity coming out. Like I said, full illumination that you're waiting for. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this a little bit more. I'm really curious with this two of wands. I feel like this is about the decision you have to make about this thing over here. So let's go ahead and look at that. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. <clears throat> Talk about the Two of Wands. For Aquarius, you know, it's funny. Some of you, this could be a job <laughs> where it's like maybe some really awful things happen in your workplace over here. And like you have a whole new opportunity over here waiting for you. But you're like, damn it, I can't take that job until I finally wrap up this bullshit over here in this job. You know, it could definitely be that kind of energy for some of you. Tell me about Two of Wands. For Aquarius, regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. This is the prerequisite. Pre 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 <laughs> this is the prerequisite over here before you can go on to the next course, essentially. Tell me about the Two of Wands. For Aquarius, regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Tell me about the Two of Wands for Aquarius regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Okay. Tell me about Two of Wands. Oh. Oh, Aqua. Three of Swords, Saturn and Libra energy. Um, oh, geez. You know, it's... Is it heartache? Yes, but it feels... It feels more discomfort than anything else, which is really fascinating to me because it is a three of swords energy. Now, could this be a third party situation where maybe you're wrapping something up over here with a love interest because you want to deal with this love interest over here? That could very well be it. Uh, that could very well be it, Aqua. But it, it's feeling like a lot of discomfort and it's adding to your frustration, okay? Um, and I do feel, again, I'm getting more of the headspace over like anything else. Definitely the headspace. It's making you have to think about a lot of different things. And like, you're kind of tired of thinking about it, to be honest with you. You're sick of being in this situation. You're sick of it. And hold on, I'm getting something. For those where this is a love situation where it's like you're trying to leave one relationship because you got another one that you would rather be in. Your heart is definitely aching, but like I said, it's not because your heart's broken. It's because you're, you're frustrated and it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Tell me about the Two of Wands. For Aquarius, regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Let's see what we got here. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, oh, Aqua, no wonder you are so kind of frustrated and sick of the situation. First of all, there's a lot of karma involved in this situation. And this is a big, this pivotal moment over here, so you can deal and make a choice about this thing over here. It, it It's not just a pivotal moment, like, for the year. It's like, this is a life, piv a, Jesus, a pivotal life moment. <laughs> I know, Mercury retrograde. It's a pivotal life moment. Look at what we have. The world, fixed energy. So Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. I want my speech back. And also Saturn, which rules Capricorn. You could be traveling internationally. You could even be moving houses. Some of you, I do feel like there is assets involved in this situation over here that you got to deal with. Um, but either way, it's opening a whole new chapter for you. A whole new book of your life is being opened after you get... <clears throat> after you get resolution about this situation over here. Then we've got that Page of Swords, okay? Oh. Page of Swords is usually watching, but I'm getting communication. I'm getting communication about this. It is communication of the truth, but it doesn't feel very tactful. Ugh, it doesn't feel very tactful at all. And I do feel like it's actually more than one person. I feel like it's leading to that Five of Wands energy of fighting here, okay? Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. Then we have the Nine of Swords in reverse Gemini energy. 
yeah all of this uh disc discomfort disc i was about to say discomfortable <laughs> just making words up today um all of this energy that's making you uncomfortable i feel like this energy is relating to the past and whatever has transpired over here especially with that nine of swords in reverse it's like you you are worrying about it because it has kind of gone on for a while if nothing had been misconstrued in the first place this would have been dealt with already <clears throat> oh, it's jesus i'm sorry guys let me get some water mm. Mm. awkward i feel a little bit of self-blame too actually i'm feeling a little bit of self-blame over here don't blame yourself it's happening be it's happening as it's supposed to the fact that the wheel of fortune is out here tells me that divine timing is at play and it's exactly how it was supposed to happen okay so don't beat yourself up don't beat yourself up. Um, I feel like some of you are blaming yourself a little bit because you feel like you maybe caused this situation over here. Um, but either way, it will get resolved. It will get resolved. Even if you did it for the right reasons, it's going to get resolved. So I'm about the two of wands for Aquarius regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. <clears throat> so I'm about the two of wands for Aquarius. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. I do feel like this is your energy, Aquarius. Really speaking truth. And again, like you're <laughs> really holding up that sword as well. Okay. To really cut away the lies, the misconstrued truth, right? The misconstrued truth so that the full truth can be seen, the full truth can be known. Others, this could be someone in your environment doing this, but I do feel like you've been at the center of it, Aqua, and I'm feeling like this has been the past energy where you started this situation and you became the center of it because like I said, now that you're in like the final moments of it, <clears throat> you're actually being quite quiet, okay? And just the wheels are in motion. You can't stop it now, <laughs> right? Wheels are already in motion. Overall energy for the two of wands, we do have the four of wands, Aries energy. Underneath that, we do have the eight of cups, Piscean energy. This is definitely walking towards stability and away from another foundation, walking from one foundation to another, okay? Aqua, for some of you, like I said, this is leaving one relationship for another, but that's definitely what this is. And at the end of the day, this eight of cups always leads to the 10, which is exactly what you were doing. And that's around the choice you want to make. And I feel like your Ten of Cups is over here, which is why you're frustrated. You're still dealing with this bullshit over here. But like I said, you know that final resolution is coming and you will have your new passionate clean slate quite soon. Okay. All right. So let's move on here. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> Sorry, it's making me so aggravated. Mm. Ah, okay. So like I said... You're frustrated because you're waiting for the full clarity, the full truth, and it's been making your headspace a little wonky, okay? Because you're just tired of thinking about it. You're tired of also being a little stressed by this. You're tired of that. So I'm not really concerned about these emotions so much, but I am more curious about the full illumination that is about to transpire, okay? Um, what deck do I want to use? You <laughs> legacy. We'll do legacy. We'll do the legacy deck. Time out the sun in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Time out the sun in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Tell me about the sun in reverse. For Aquarius regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Okay. Yeah, some of you are moving one home to another, a relationship to another, or a job to another. Very interesting. Tell me about the sun in reverse. For Aquarius regarding love, July 13th. Ooh, hold on a second. Come on now. Oh yeah, the full illumination about this emperor and what they've been up to. That's exactly what is, what's transpiring here. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. The same emperor that came up in your pre-shuffle. You're waiting for full illumination on the situation that is basically, basically highlighting the two of you, but other people are involved. Time about the sun in reverse. 
for Aquarius regarding love. Tell me about the sun in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Hmm. Tell me about the sun in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Tell me about the sun in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we had a few other cards come out. King of Swords, Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra. Oh my. Aqua, we've got a true pair. We've got a true pair going on. So you guys know what that means when I say that. For those who don't know what that means, uh, basically a true pair when it comes out for me in my readings, it's it can be a soulmate of yours or it could be some someone even more uh, significant in connection. So divine counterpart or twin flame, but definitely at the very least soulmates, all right? Now... Oh, with a Queen of Wands, Aries energy could also be fire or water and the Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands is acting as an energy. Don't worry, it's not a person. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Queen of Wands, I feel, is acting as an energy here. The energy of making shit happen, creating the new, creating... Um, Creating passion and using energy to transmute a situation, right? To get that nine of, that nine, Jesus, why did I say nine? To get that ace of, I can't pick up cards. To get that ace of wands energy, okay? This is manifestation energy at work. This is manifestation energy at work. I feel like the truth and clarity, Aqua, honestly, is about, um, oh, hold on, I'm getting something. Okay, I feel like this emperor has been hiding a lot of stuff, all right? Been hiding a lot of stuff unnecessarily, and I think, Aqua, you, you know that. You know that. And to be honest, Aqua, I feel like this resolution is acting as a formality. Because you guys are very intuitive, and I feel like intuitively you already know what this emperor has been hiding. And to be honest, I feel like this emperor has just been hiding passion for you. Where this, where this emperor's true passions have lied, but I feel like they have lied in the process of that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this misconstrued truth that's affected other people. So this could be involving a family, and again, this could be a work scenario. Um, this emperor's been putting on a bit of a, of a farce, okay? As far as what they truly feel, what they truly think, and what they truly want. And that illumination will come out. That illumination is going to come out about what they really feel about a person or a situation or what they really think about a person or a situation, okay? Very interesting. Overall energy, we do have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. This emperor is at a... Has, ugh, Jesus, what are my words? This emperor has been at a complete standstill. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the physical sense, I feel like you and this emperor haven't exactly taken any steps towards each other because, like I said, I feel like you started this process, but you're you're being quiet. You're just watching shit play out at this point. You did your part. You did your part. It's time to it's time for the emperor to do their part to provide that final illumination of like, OK, this is what I've really been thinking. This is what I've really been planning. This is what I've really been feeling. And if this is a court case scenario, it's basically the truth of what the motive was for this emperor to do what they did. Okay, it's essentially that. But they're not budging. Because they know. They know it's up to them to provide this final illumination and they don't want to do it. <laughs> it's just very plain and simple. They don't want to do it. But they have to do it. And they're not liking it. And Aqua, you know this and you know what's coming. So you're just sitting back, twiddling your thumbs. <laughs> and just like, any day. We, 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 could, we could all go home any day just start just start just start spewing the truth any day now any day it, it's very interesting but aqua like i said you've taken a little bit of a quiet stance on this because you've done your part you've done all you can do it's up to this emperor now and their true motives their true intent the truth will come out all right so let's get some advice for you But it is about where their true passions lie. They keep telling me that very specifically. Um, 
because that's where their motive lies and where their true passion lies, okay? <clears throat> so if you suspected this person on cheating on you or like maybe you've started dating this person and you've been suspecting, like, oh, maybe they have someone else, well, you're gonna find out. You're gonna find out. If this is like, again, a work scenario, you're gonna find out their true motive behind whatever bullshit they've been doing at work that's been affecting other people and same with the family situation, okay? And like I said, if this is a court case, you're going to find out their true motive. It's all going to make sense. And then you can finally re resolve it and you can finally move, move on and deal with this thing over here. Okay. But yeah, like I said, this thing over here, it's about you going towards your 10 of cups to your, oh, come on, come back. Whatever this thing is over here, it's about going to your 10 of cups to a very solid, stable foundation that is much better and healthier for you. Okay. Any advice for Aquarius regarding love and the spread? Any advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Any advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Nightingale spirit love is all around 41 breaking down to a five. So this is regarding the change that's taking place for you aqua and like and we've already touched base on that right, you know, you got to resolve this to have that change to go to your other foundation, your next foundation. And with love is all around guys, I've said this before in my readings when this card comes out, it usually is a big indication that a new love opportunity or love interest is right around the corner and aqua like I said, some of you are bouncing from a relationship to the next to the next okay but it feels really good all right this is also a reminder that love comes in all forms is what they're telling me to tell you actually they're telling me to really emphasize that with you that love comes in all forms it's not just romantic it's not just family it's not just even friendship it's also admiration it's also admiration and respect and aqua you do have people that admire you and and highly respect you and that is a form of love and you can trust those people you can lean on those people and i feel like aqua maybe you don't think that maybe you don't know that maybe you don't realize that but you do it might not be the people involved in this situation over here <laughs> but there are people who respect you and and love you because of that okay by the way it was 32 23 when i said that okay all right let's keep it going any other advice for aquarius regarding this spread any other advice for, oh, awesome. Any other advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Any other advice? <clears throat> oh, that's a lot of cards. Oh boy, a lot of cards now, Aqua. Wow. Okay. So now we have Cow Spirit. The miracles are endless. 15 breaking down to a six. This card is all about abundance okay and it's funny because all of a sudden i feel a lot of taurus energy and i know this is the cow but all of a sudden i'm feeling that really strong so you could have taurus in your chart you could be dealing with a taurus but it, and, you know emperor for me is a taurus energy but either way there is abundance coming your way be from this resolution and we saw that in the pre-shuffle with the ace of pentacles and judgment ace of pentacles could be a lump sum or a gift in the form of abundance something tangible abundance is coming for you and it's coming mm, it's also coming in the form of love is what my guides want me to tell you. It's coming in the form of love and definitely for those who are moving from one relationship to another. Maybe you're, maybe you're getting divorced and then you've got someone already that you know that you really care about but the divorce proceedings took a while. You know, it could be that kind of transition. You're going to be very abundant in love and support, Aqua, in whatever this thing is over here that you already know you have to make a choice about, okay? All right, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> oh my wow okay groundhog spirit time to let go 31 breaking down to a four and then we have mouse spirit 10 to the small things 40 breaking down to a four mouse spirit came out yesterday too for i think two other signs um which ones were they shoot i can't remember i can't remember but definitely definitely mouse spirit came out for at least one fire sign maybe even two yesterday but either way both of these cards are a foundation sorry not a foundation a vibration a vibration of four, 31 breaking down to a four and 40 breaking down to a four. This is letting go of the old foundation. And it's interesting because with these animals, I don't know why I'm so drawn to their size. I don't know why I'm so drawn to that. Um, there's something about this foundation you're leaving behind that I think has really held you back. 
okay, that has really held you back, whether it's a relationship, a job, the whole court proceedings themselves. I mean, like, whatever, again, because it is a transition that you're going through, Aqua, and it has been holding you back. It's been faulty. It's been faulty. It served a purpose for you to learn a lot about yourself and to grow, and now it's time to move on to the next, and you already know that. You already know that. Now, we had three other cards come out. Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. This is also an energy of four. You have three fours. Do you have any other ones? Hold on, let me check. No. You have three fours, okay? This is definitely about your stability and you, the structure of, of your relationships and your life moving forward and the structure of your abundance, okay? You've learned a lot. You've been around the block, okay? You've been around the corner quite a few times, all right? You're, you're not a spring chicken. You're not green behind the ears. You know better. You know better now. And I don't think that you're going to be finding yourself in situations like this anymore because it's been a learning lesson. You've become a lot wiser for it, okay? Which is awesome. I love that. I love that energy. Then we have Lion Spirit. Be generous of spirit. 37, cyclical energy. Not surprised that came out because we do have, I can pull it out. Because we do have the world here, okay? These are not just small little itty bitty cycles. This is big life changes, okay? I don't know why they're, oh, okay. Once I said that, they drew me to Saturn. Saturn. Mm, and numerology, okay. Um, I don't want to do a whole long-winded explanation of this. So with numerology, specifically, um, Pythag uh, Pythag Jesus. Pythagoras's. Um, interpretation of numerology, which is um, something that I really more lean towards. Um, he has the blueprint, right? The triangle of life. And so in the triangle of life, he breaks down um, life cycles in 27 years, which I, you know, coincidentally, is also uh, the same time span that it takes Saturn to orbit through all of the signs, right? 27 years. And it is kind of, it, it has been kind of shown that there are major significant life shifts that happen in those time spans, depending on when, how long it, you know, depending on where you're at in life, but that 27 marks, right? 27, 54, why can't I think? And 72, is that right? I think it's 72. Anyway, so going through a major, major life cycle, you don't have to be at those ages to be experiencing this, um, but you're going to be experiencing it for those who are resonating with this reading where a lot in your life is going to change because of this moment, because of this time that you're in. And to be courageous like the lion is actually what I'm hearing, even though this, this card is usually about compassion and being generous with compassion. I feel like it's actually alluding more to how much strength you, you've you really shown through a lot of what, you, what you've been through in this situation over here. Okay. Um, and you're carrying that with you into the next cycle, which is really beautiful, which is really awesome. All right. And then we have porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. Uh, 48 that breaks down to a vibration of three. Okay. Um, beginner mind is basically having a new perspective. I feel like your consciousness has been expanded here. Okay. I feel like your consciousness has been expanded. Your mind has been expanded. You're seeing the world in a much broader perspective now. And I'm not saying you were narrow minded. I'm not saying you're narrow minded. You just see even wider now <laughs> because you've learned because you've learned and you're a lot wiser for it, which is really awesome. I love that. You're not afraid of it either. And Aquas, you wouldn't be afraid of it because you are Aquarians, right? You are about the mind. You are about the consciousness. You are about seeing ahead, seeing beyond the norm, thinking outside the box. You are essentially the porcupine spirit, right? Um, and it's just making this whole experience even better for you. You're going to get out of this, Aqua. You're not going to be wrapped up in this that much longer, okay? And then overall, we have Bat Spirit. A rebirth is assured. Oh, I love that. With the energy of fives, now you got two fives down here. So now you got two fives down here and three fours. But either way, like as we already know, you're going through a change here. And it is a bit of a rebirth because you are going into such a brand new spanking cycle. I'm really excited for you, Aqua. Um, honestly, you're handling this exactly how you need to. I don't even think this advice was really that much that needed maybe maybe this one i think was very pertinent i feel like everything else you're already doing right so as you go into this next foundation just know that as frustrated as you are you already know that resolution is coming you can feel it you know it intuitively just roll with it okay all right aqua i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to check out patreon instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later okay bye aquas